Ready for medical career growth? Yes, you are in the right place. Hello, this is Dr. Neema Bish, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. As a founder of Career in Pharma, our mission is to guide medical professional towards remarkable success in the pharma industry. With a track record of over 700 plus students, trained and placed into various premier pharma companies, we are here to elevate your journey. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today in this video, we are going to talk about medical surveillance specialist, which is a role uh, specific to the company name called IQVIA. Now in this video, I'm going to tell you what exactly this role is and what the job profile is, who all are eligible, what additional skill set you should be having. Now the reason behind discussing this profile in this video is because this is very common opening which frequently comes in IQBIA and freshers are also eligible for this role. Uh, IQBIA company regularly keeps coming with this opening. Yes. So through this video, you will get end to end idea on medical surveillance specialist, a profile specific to company name called IQVIA. So here I'm going to share my screen and through demonstration, I will tell you what the profile is and how you can make a career into the same. Yes. So now here I have just opened my LinkedIn page through which I got to know about this job profile. Just to give you more clarity, first of all, you can you all can see it's written that IQVIA is hiring for medical surveillance specialist, right? Now let's see what is the job overview. Now here you have to provide a range of medical surveillance support to the company. Now what is the medical surveillance support? You have to monitor the lab data coming through clinical laboratories that is local laboratories or central laboratories through this data you have to monitor these lab, lab data uh, which any patient is undergoing in clinical trials so you, it's a monitoring of clinical laboratory data for subjects in clinical studies and composing medical narratives so you have to analyze the lab data okay other than this you have to create you have to write a medical narrative and then you also have to interact with the investigator side means where the clinical trial is going on. So I hope overview you got like what exactly you have to do. So considering that you have to analyze the lab reports which will include many medical terminologies which will include the lab data definitely where your medical expertise is required. Yes. Other than this, what will be your essential function? Monitor and evaluate laboratory results on a daily basis. Yes. From sponsor designate, designated central laboratory. So if I have to keep this medical surveillance specialist profile into anyone, <coughs> anyone means either into clinical research or pharmacovigilance, then I would say it is a clinical research profile where you have to analyze the data coming to the clinical trials now this data is very much specific to lab data only so here you have to evaluate and analyze the lab data yeah at an agreed frequency means there will be some target given by the company that, that on a daily basis this much lab data you have to analyze and review you have to conduct preliminary review of laboratory results relative to established protocol specific reference range guidelines so definitely company will provide you the protocol of the study also as per that you have to go through the lab data you have to see what are the range yes and you have to serve as a liaison between the medical services department and sponsor designated laboratory means what happens you know uh, the analysis and review which you will be doing with the lab data that will go to the medical surveillance medical services department yes 
once you analyze and review it and to you it is coming from sponsor the pharma company who are running clinical trial so that clinical trial data through those laboratory designated laboratory uh, designated laboratory by sponsors by pharma company that lab data will be coming to you and then it will be going to the medical services department where further review happens with that data yes other than this you have to maintain up to date laboratory knowledge while continuing ed- education activities okay or maybe company is giving you some training hands on experience so you have to keep yourself updated with the latest laboratory data and based on clinical laboratory and monitoring experience you have to identify potential significant tri- trends or shift in laboratory results if any variation is there from the standard laboratory values that you have to identify and you have to alert the medical advisor now who are medical advisor medical advisors are the people who are mbbs physicians md ms but basic qualification is medical advisor they are mbbs always so you have to alert those medical advisor so that they can take some action also you have to interact with project teams project teams means there will be so many teams in any company there will be, there are different kind of projects and in that projects there will be a team so you have to interact with different project teams and you have to work with central laboratory staff so from where the report is coming to you from where the lab data is coming to you you have to work with those central laboratory staff to facilitate the appropriate monitoring and reporting of subject laboratory research so if i have to talk about in the clinical trial data your work will be limited to just the lab data because what sponsors the pharma company do they outsource different kind of works to different people they have different vendors for each and everything similarly for lab data they have separate vendors so regarding that you have to communicate cooperate with central laboratories yes also you have to assist lead medical sur- surveillance specialist with project setup activities means when you join in this industry as a surveillance uh, medical surveillance specialist you will be freshers so you have to assist and you have to uh, you know cooperate and you have to uh, interact with your leads so leads means any uh, person who is a surveillance specialist and in a senior role so they are called as lead or team manager as well and then other than this there will be regular project team meetings that you have to attend and perform other related duties as a site okay so this is about the essential function so if i have to make the summary summary i will summarize it as you have to analyze and review the laboratory data coming to central laboratories or local laboratories and if any trend is there if any shift is there then you have to alert medical advisor so you will be just specific to the laboratory data coming to the clinical trial now if i talk about the eligibility qualification wise who all are eligible let's see here in this only so qualification wise if you are a bachelor degree in life science or health sciences you can see degree life sciences or allied health sciences yes so i always talk to talk about that people from multiple background different background are eligible to work inside this industry and here you can see qualification is also written so bachelor of pharmacy biochemistry microbiology biotechnology nursing biotechnology medical laboratory sciences physiotherapy all are eligible yes or if you are a healthcare professionals in allopathy homeopathy ayurveda or dentistry you can see it's clear cut written so all these people are eligible now if you ask me who are you know preferred so if i talk in the sense of preference wise then definitely company looks for healthcare professionals and pharmacy graduates more and in that also healthcare professionals they always give preference why because healthcare professionals are the people who regularly go through these kind of reports lab data and they are well versed with medical concept and medical terminology so definitely uh it is easy to train these person healthcare professionals because they are already well versed with all medical concepts medical understanding and laboratory data okay so this is about the qualification other than this if you go to any corporate 
job anything be it uh, safety associate be it data management associate be it clinical research coordinator you should be having a good command over good means decent i would say to start command over your microsoft excel word document and powerpoint because most of the things in corporate where you are dealing with data it's not just about uh, this pharma corporate even in it industry if you are good in microsoft excel uh, microsoft powerpoint word document def- definitely it's a add on for you yes and you should be having a strong communication skills as well because you have to communicate with cross team you have to communicate with your lead you have to communicate with sponsors with medical advisor so strong communication skills should be there both written and verbal written because you have to make narrative of the patient verbal when you have to communicate with cross team or maybe medical advisor or maybe your senior yes and you should be having an ability to establish and maintain effective working relationship with your co-workers and managers and clients in short you should be having a good uh, you should be having a team building attitude i mean you should be good at uh, building connections with your team you should be good in working in a team yes so this is about the uh, job uh, overview what exactly you have to do and qualification wise also all life science graduate healthcare professionals are eligible for this role but preferred ones are healthcare professionals and pharmacy graduate now let's see few profiles where i will be sharing you uh, i will be sharing you few profiles where you can understand that who actually is eligible for this role see eligibility i always mention you i have always i already showed you but just to show you if you just search in the linkedin with this keyword of medical surveillance specialist you will find so many profiles so if i share i, I just share you five to six profile with you just to understand what is their qualification so first is dinesh shivi let's see what is his qualification so so that it will help us in understanding more so uh, dinesh shivi is a lead medical surveillance specialist and is a registered nurse means he is masters in nursing now let's see what dr somiti r is dr somiti r is by qualification uh, by qualification uh, you can see bachelor of dental surgery bds right now let's see vibhuti dulu what she is the purpose behind showing you these profile is so that you get a clarity over what all qualifications are eligible clarity i have already gave you but in you know if you see what uh, what is the majority of the qualification yes here you can see the qualification is bachelor of pharmacy yes if i pick up two three more profile uh, let's say i pick up this profile uh, we'll see what xp i mean what qualification she is having so she is having um, again bds so yeah bds is also one of the choice and uh, good number of dentists are there inside iqvia so another i want to open is vineet patel let's see what his qualification okay so again uh, you can see again mds bds mds so he is a dentist yeah so the idea behind sharing you this is so that you can get clarity over who all are eligible what exactly is the job profile yes skill set i already told you basic it skills other than this you should be having subject knowledge good command over medical concept medical terminologies where you will you should be able to understand the laboratory data it should not happen that uh, any uh, data is with you <laughs> and you are not able to understand what this data is related to so definitely your command over medical concept lab data is a add on and that's why healthcare professionals are on demand for this profile also 
yes so this was all about medical surveillance specialist uh, i hope you got an idea about this profile and uh, the reason i already told you why i gave you uh, clarity on this profile is because this is the most common profile which iqia keeps coming up with freshers also so you can make yourself ready as per that and you can also search for this profile inside linkedin yes and other reason of making video on this is because this was the most common questions in our comment box people were asking about this profile so that's why we made this video on end to end medical surveillance specialist now one thing i miss is about salary if you ask me the salary in this profile is it is anything between 20k to 30k now it may vary it's not necessary that each and every fresher will get just 20k not necessary all will get 30k also so you can just keep yourself in between 20k to 30k yes and working hours is standard 8 to 9 hours see working hours remain same for all the field be it it be it hospital be it pharma the typical working hours is 8 to 9 hours in india in all the companies okay so this is all about working hours salary and about the profile and eligibility and additional skill set of it skills yes so this is all about uh, this profile that is medical surveillance specialist i hope you get a clarity over this profile and if you really like this video if you really got valuable insights through this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please don't forget to share this channel this video with your friends so that it can help others as well in uh, getting this understanding of this profile yes so this is all about medical surveillance specialist will be coming soon with some fresh less video till the time i come again till that time we stay safe alert updated and keep exploring new things have a nice day bye bye all of you